Hey, okay. So I wanted to talk more about the moon. Um, cause I was only able just to get that little part out this morning and I've been working on this video. I've been, I've been trying to get this information out now for a while. So, but it's probably better that I wasn't able to get it out because, um, I've had some more time to travel and understand what is actually happening. And then of course, I don't know which video it was, but one of one of Dolo's videos between in the last like few days, um, he was talking about uh, he was talking about the spirits leaving the planet, and um, I think it was Dolo, I think it was Dolo talking about that, and maybe, oh man, I think it was, but anyways, um, I uh, I had a dear I had a dear friend that um was really somebody special to me when we were growing up and um not not in a not in a like he was my boyfriend way but in a in a he was not my boyfriend way and he was fucking cool to me <laughs> um I'm always going to love him for that and he came to see me after he passed away and I've been thinking about him quite a bit the last um few months he's been on my mind and um so at least he came to see me after he left you know but dolo talking about these spirits that are wanting to exit the earth it goes right into the whole fucking the earth is on the inside i mean the moon is on the inside and there's like the seeds and germination and compaction but what's actually happening like what's actually there's like a bunch of shit happening right now but like one of the things that's actually happening right now is that because of this compaction like i mentioned there's like different layers there's rocks there's metals there's molten metal there's molten rock there's just fucking fire burning there's fucking gases and shit all different kinds of gases and bacterias and viruses and all kinds of shit there's just like all kinds of shit there's fucking animals and fucking beings inside the planet that like people wrote about thousands of years ago you know legends have been told about these beasts and beings and in, inside the planet and um you know go and start go and start looking at conspiracy theories around antarctica because that's where I was had like the bulk of my study that I was doing 2015 2016 my extracurricular study had to do with that I'm thinking about that but listen so here's the thing right there's like this it's like this emotional it's like this emotional fucking this moon fucking energy inside the earth this is what I was saying it's more earthy and, um, but it's like, it's like pushing and compacting now on spaces and places that we're not, and with the pole shifting and everything that's happening in there, these gases and liquids and metals and all these different things, beings are able to like use the cervix portal right now. And so there, it, it, these, these are spirits don't. Don't get me wrong here. We're talking about spirits. These are spirits in whatever form they're they're coming out and they're coming out and they are ready to go. They want to go. They're ready to go. And um these are highly emotional, highly, highly volatile, highly like reactive spirits that we're dealing with here. And um <sighs> fucking crazy. It's really, it's like, what? But, okay, so, like, this is why it's really important for soul family, soul group, community, people, we need to get together. At least, like, at least, like, some a few satellites here and there, you know? And then we can figure out how to develop a headquarters and outposts and fleets and tours and all this other stuff that's what ends up happening I've, I've seen all that I've seen all that so there's a potential there 
But all this shit that's coming out of the earth right now is fucking hardcore. And this 5G is to trap it. I was talking to Ariel about this earlier. And um, the 5G is going to trap these spirits into this like layer. This layer with the, it's not the gravitational pull, it's a fucking trap, it's a fucking trap. And I feel like this is what the White Castle trap referred to, but I don't know for sure, so take me as it comes. However, I just want to say, when this 5G comes, people are going to lose their ever-fucking-loving minds. Like, like, Dolo's not, like, people are going to have so much more access to 4D each other that s there's a whole bunch of different situations and scenarios that could come out of that. But the honest, like, the, the, like, the thing that takeaway here is that you gotta just, you gotta have faith, you gotta trust, you can't be afraid, you cannot be afraid, you cannot let the fear overtake you, you cannot let the fear overtake you. When your mission and what you're trying to fucking do is good, your intentions are good, okay, and, the, and what's stopping you is your fear, and your fear, and the stories that your fear creates, the, the lies your fear tells you tell that fucking asshole to get the hell out of here like dude no that's not my thought those aren't my ideas get the fuck out of here I'm serious this sounds like stupid and maybe baby shit mixed with some really far out whackness but I'm telling you take it or leave it take it or leave it Don't, don't leave it. I'm serious. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of people. 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 Especially people who want to come together with and make shit happen. Good things happen. You know, is it going to stop you from getting hurt? No. Is it going to stop you from getting betrayed? Pro I don't know. Is it going to stop anything bad from happening? No. But if you don't do it, what happens is stop something good from happening. Like, the good thing that was going to happen because you were afraid and you didn't go or you didn't make it happen, it didn't happen. See you later, portal. So, don't let the fear fucking, because it's going to get amped up. And it's a spirit, and this is a spiritual thing. So if you're like been training, if we're we're training for this shit, right? We're training for this shit. But so don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Call me if you need me. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm fucking serious. I'm serious. Call me if you need me. I'm not here to judge anybody. Me. I'm mostly here to judge me. I'm going to judge anything. So, I don't know. We just all need to know where we're going to be safe and who is safe. And it has to do, it has a lot to do with fear. So, ponder that. <laughs> I'm going to smoke some weed now. So, um, and I'm smoking out of a pipe and that's like, eh not like a video it's not like hey I'm, I don't know I guess it could be it could be don't it's just not something I want to do oh god see how I ruin shit because I just judged myself I'm not afraid though I'm not afraid though for real though have a good day have a good day. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome day. And thank you. Thank you for spending 10 minutes with me.